I almost forgot how fun it was to use the route. One of the ideas that um, my wife came up with to help kind of, I noticed in the video these look a lot worse than they are in real life, but anyways, um, is to hook up these stainless steel um, plates or aluminum or stainless steel, stainless steel plates. Oop, that one's stuck there for a second. And gonna put the other one, you know, maybe off centered it off center a little bit and that'll help um, hide the, cre the two bad creases. So in what they are gonna do is we're gonna have these little hooks on them. Gonna have these little hooks on them so that way we can hang uh, wet clothes or hang stuff on the outside when the door is open. So I think that's a pretty good idea. So we're gonna do that. Now I got some coat hangers. Pretty strong, help me open and close the door. Now I can uh, hang hang our wet clothes up on the door. So yeah, I think that'll be okay. I'm happy with it. Well, holy smokes, it fits. So I might carpet this out or something so it doesn't rattle around as much. But um, it's like a 10 BC probably fire extinguisher. Anyways, a fairly decent uh, dry cam and it's charged. And I think I'll donate that to the truck. Okay, threw in some extra carpet. Keep it nice and nice and quiet. Got a fire extinguisher. Hey, that was probably the easiest one I've done. <laughs> and one of the things that you don't want to neglect is your vehicle. And I probably waited a little too long for the oil change, but I got some good synthetic, new filter, yada yada yada. I'll be checking the air pressure on the tires as well. Uh oh. Yeah, that's pretty black. So, yeah, I'll need your help on a few of those, but, uh, yeah. That L Swain's the last one, man. Big man. So, on the drawers, <coughs> okay now remember I have a short bed truck to start with and then I also have the battery bank in the front you guys remember that so my drawers are only 54 inches deep uh, lengthwise 54 inches lengthwise and they're about seven and a half inches deep and what I'm going to do um, I kind of I was debating if I should get like a Teflon board so it can slide in and out and actually it slides fairly easy and then what I'm gonna do is I'll make some nice uh, drawer fronts and put on there so just real simple type design so it's a 54 inch base Cut these boards at 54. I'm pin nailing everything together. Um, I have a lot of uh, pin nails. So they're inch and a half pin nails or inch and three quarter pin nails. And then I'm putting, you know, the front and back on it. And I'll have some stuff left over so that way I can do dividers. But I don't know how big the stove's gonna be. I don't know what the silverware thing's gonna be. Um, I'm, thinking about getting some shallow Tupperware um, boxes that'll fit in here. That way I can keep stuff separated and then maybe just put a couple more dividers in there. So the right hand one, I'm, I'm thinking, the one on the right hand side is going to be, or passenger side, is gonna be like all the clothes and stuff and this is gonna be all the food stuff. Because I already planned on having the stove in there, propane, all the silverware, all the utensils, and some food stuff, canned food stuff. Over here can be nothing but just like clothes or whatever. You know, I started thinking about a fire extinguisher and I do have a spare one hanging over there. I'm wondering, I would really like 
to have a fire extinguisher in this rig. Okay, got both boxes done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look to put a front on here. Made it flush to this side so you can get to the fire, fire extinguisher. I'll cut it right here, cover that hole a little bit. Now this <clears throat> will actually, maybe I'm too close, I don't know. But anyways, this is actually gonna sit right about there. Okay, so she wanted to keep the grab handle, so the face plates went ahead and routed the edges, and I'll make a grab hole on the other one as well. Well, they don't look too bad. Not bad at all. Get my fat hand in there. Pull them out. I'll put dividers in later once I get the stove and that type of stuff in. Yeah, I think this will work out, work out good. <sighs> Not too bad. So, that about wraps it up for 2A Wolf. I uh, got the drawers in. Got the fire extinguisher over there, got that stuff done. Got the truck serviced, checked all the tires. Uh, got a little side project going on, but that shouldn't take me too long. But still waiting for the fan. So, anyways, when the fan comes in, oh, got to cut a hole in the roof. I don't know, scared, but have to have the fan. So, anyways, thanks for joining 2A Wolf, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them down below. And I'll see you next time on 2A Wolf.